Spoke to alumni, students, faculty members, many of which were under the impression that this would be their opportunity to address the board. But the board coming out right off the bat and saying that any comments that would have been made would have been done yesterday and through the proper channels like the three individuals had done. Uh, yesterday. Now, on top of that, really the biggest takeaway out of this, Madison, is that the board doubled down on its decision for Bill Johnson. Students, alumni, and members of the community packed Todd Hall this morning after being told they'd be allowed to address the board. That was until they found out that the students and alumni that spoke yesterday would be the only ones voicing their concerns. Each one of them were passionate and they were vocal with their thoughts. Each of them followed the procedure set forth in the board's bylaws and requested in writing to address the board. For a time, protesters were silenced until one woman took center stage during department updates. We are in an emergency meeting today. We Sparking arguments between faculty members. I ask my fellow faculty to behave like PhDs, not like kindergartners. You're going to be a kindergartner and go throw your tantrum outside. Just a couple minutes later, detractors were asked to leave the room. You're welcome to uh, meet us outside. The board meeting proceeded as scheduled with voices echoing from the hallway before ending the meeting. At the end of the day, it's the board's decision. Michael Peterson explained the board's process for selecting the next president and ultimately the reasons behind that decision. He convinced an entire, minus one, a board of trustees that without, uh, minus all the political stuff, we set that aside, that this guy could come in and have a direct impact. Adding that the board is excited about the direction Johnson could take the university. With more local news, I'm Corey McRae.